He treated the problem like a detective solving a crime. The victim was Uranus, knocked slightly off its course. The suspects were the known planets, but their influences were all accounted for. Therefore, there had to be an unknown culprit, a hidden accomplice lurking in the darkness. Le Verrier's job was to create a profile of this culprit, its mass, its orbit, and most importantly, where to find it. Step by step, Le Verrier built his case. He first demonstrated that the known planets could not explain Uranus's behavior. He then formulated a hypothesis for the orbit of the phantom planet, assuming it would lie in the same plane as the other planets and be at a distance predicted by the titius bode law. With these assumptions, he began calculating where in the sky this new planet should be. His confidence grew with every calculation. He became so certain that he publicly announced his predictions, a bold move that put his professional reputation on the line. By the summer of 1846, Le Verrier had his final answer. He had calculated the position of the new planet with remarkable accuracy, 